Hi, Hi we're, we're the, the Haynes family. family. I'm Shane. I'm Suzanne. I'm taking this and putting it in my room. No. Yeah. No. We have two boys. Our oldest is Seth, and he's 10. <laughs> and our youngest is Sean, and he's four. I'm a police officer. I usually work nights. High five. When I'm home, I'm usually either cleaning or disciplining the children. <laughs> no, TV. <laughs> While my husband's either working or trying to catch up on his sleep. Because I'm with them all day, by the end of the day, I'm just done. <laughs> Sean is the dictator of this house. We'll kill you and the boss, too. Sorry, who's the boss? I said no. Get over here! He's hitting. <laughs> He's biting. Hey, no. Ew. Oh. Now he's starting to yell vulgarities. Go home. I've tried everything and it doesn't work. Oh, my, my, my. Ow. Like you bite me. Seth has started to get really mouthy. Well, what are you mad about? Him. What else am I mad about? Hello? Can you do anything about Sean? Mom and Dad are getting really angry right now. I'm getting angry right now. Well, you know who else is getting angry? Me! Why aren't these parents doing anything? Turning into like a little bit of a nightmare, I guess would be the word. It's your last chance. Shut it off. Stop. I'm not playing with you now. I'm being serious. <laughs> I've given up. I've given up with their behavior because I don't know what to do. You go in the corner. No! We definitely need Super Nanny. Need her help badly. I better get to this family and quick. Hello. Hello. Hi, pleased to meet you. I'm Joe. I'm Suzanne. When Joe first arrived, I really didn't know what to think of her. Who's this? This would be Sean. How old are you, Sean? Five years old. You're four years old. My husband worked late last night, so he's actually sleeping. All right, OK, so Dad's upstairs. I didn't get a chance to take my coat off, as Mum told me that she was taking Sean to preschool for a couple of hours. I'll get the door. No, I need the door. Come on. So whilst Mum was off talking to one of the teachers, I thought that I would take a chance to watch Sean and see how he interacts with the other kids. I recognised very, very quickly that he does lack the social skills to really involve himself with the other children and have fun, and it did bring a lot of concern. So I thought that I would talk to Sean's teacher to see what she thought about it. What would you say Sean's level of interaction with the other children merits on a, on a level to, you know, one to five, for example? It would be a one or a two. One or a two. Mm -hmm. When he's in a group, a gastentric group, where there's um, two or three other children, he is very quiet and very withdrawn. Right. When school had finished, I had a chance to meet Seth. Hi, Seth. Yeah. Pleased to meet you. I'm Jojo. Hi. Hi. How old are you? Um, I'm 10. 10. Pleased to meet you. We'd only been home for a couple of minutes, and then Sean started to have a meltdown over a piece of candy. The last one. You're not getting the last yeah. one. Yeah, the one. You already had one. It's just one. Sean. I didn't have one. <laughs> Said no, don't. That's all. You can't have any more candy. Sean, you can't have it. Mom said no. And I was wondering, how many times is Mom going to watch Sean hit Seth before she does anything about it? Give it back to him. Sean gets away with everything. Sean, what? come out. No. Stop. Come on. You can't stay under there. Come on. You can stay under there. Sean's behavior gets to the point that I just give him his way because it's easier for me to give in than to sit there and fight with him all the time. Sean seems to get away with blue murder in this house. And even Seth said that Mum and Dad need to do more about controlling Sean's behaviour. I mean, after all, he's 10 years old. He's got his own opinion, so I wanted to hear what he had to say. Do you get tired of 
Sean and his behaviour. Yeah. And how do you think Mum and Dad are dealing with Sean's behaviour? I mean, personally. I don't think they're dealing really well. What do you think they're not doing that they could be doing a lot better? I think, like, more punishments. Usually my mum and dad, like, let them get away with a lot of it. Because of Sean's behaviour, he needs so much parental attention that I really do think that Seth feels a little bit left out. Well, in the afternoon, Dad got up and I finally got a chance to meet him. Hi, I'm pleased to meet you, Joe. Shane. Good Hi. morning. How are you doing? Very well, thank you. Just watching the family. When Joe first arrived, I was thinking, oh boy, she's probably in for a real treat, you know, my kids. So you've just had a long sleep? Slept a little longer than normal. I thought this one might be a tough one for her. So I saw Shane getting all fueled up, having lots of coffee, and I wondered, what's up his sleeve with these energetic boys? Everyone just kind of sat around and nobody really did anything. Where's the energy? You know, two lively young kids. Let's have some fun. Let's rock and roll in this house. Not in this house. I tried, I said a Hey! <laughs> That's not funny! Sean's four years old and there he is cussing like it's okay and Mum and Dad barely react. Don't break my f um. What's it going to take to get these parents into action? A bit later, with Dad still not interacting with the kids, I watched Mum play with Sean. Oh, but once again, Sean had to have things his way. That's enough. Oh. It's really discouraging to have a four-year-old running everything. <laughs> Sean! It drives me nuts. I absolutely hate it. Whoa. Stop! Whoa. When it comes to Sean playing up, Mum is very submissive. And I'm just wondering, when is she ever going to step up and deal with Sean's behaviour? Sean! I said yeah. Shawnee, Mum said no. I said yeah. Mum said no. Johnny. Give me a headache. After hours of only playing, it was so obvious. Seth was bored and he started to get really irritated. But no wonder why. Seth's 10 years old. He needs more stimulation than this. God! You know what? Daddy's getting a little upset right now. And so... Well, I'm getting a little upset too. That's enough. That's enough. It's not funny. Seth. Mom! I just think it's just unbelievable that Suzanne thinks restraining Seth is going to fix the problem. That's enough! It's not going to be long before he's bigger than her. And then what discipline is she going to use then? Your satellite's coming out and your TV's coming out of your room. I think I'm kidding with you, I'm not. I wound up making empty threats with them because it's the only way I seem like I can try to get my point across. I'm not playing. <laughs> Seth actually looks like he's having fun. But I'm not surprised, though. It's the first time he's had attention all day. I'm not kidding with you. I mean it now. Stop it. I'm getting really disgusted. <sighs> Had it. Mum and Seth went downstairs, but then Seth started with the attitude all over again. You play. If you guys can't share, I'm picking them up. No, you're not. Yes, I am. I've tried everything to get them to at least listen, and it doesn't work. So I'm to the point now, it's like, why even bother? Shane? I guess you're not picking them up, are you? I took the box for the logs. Did you make him go get him? He won't listen to me. Finally, Dad stepped in because Mum gave up and she couldn't deal with it anymore. Let's go in your room for a bit. Told you like five times. No! What's that? No. Don't, don't, don't joke around with Daddy, all right? Stop. Come Put him in his room, Daddy. <laughs> Shane may be a cop, but I really don't see any enforcing going on here. <laughs> I'm not 
it down. Here we go again. If Shane really thinks that dragging Seth upstairs to discipline him like a four-year-old is going to work, then he's fooling himself. Seth's ten years old. This is dead parenting. I need to make some changes and quick. It's so quiet in here, it's scary. <laughs> Too quiet. Two young boys who are quite a handful, to say the least. But what's wrong with a pair of you? You know, I'm, I'm really, I'm really struggling here because I've never come across two parents who have lacked so much enthusiasm. Well, let's start with Sean's behaviour. Mm -hmm. Your four-year-old son is running your household. I totally agree. The biting, the cussing, the punching, the hitting. I I've got to ask, I mean, why? Why do you allow that time and time again? Well, my, my powers with him don't work. He just runs all over me. If you put him in the corner and hold him there or whatever, he'll still fight. It just seems like it never ends. So what do you do then for his behavior? I pretty much let him go to get his way and then he's happy. You guys are very clearly showing your son that it's okay for him to behave that way. And that's rather confusing for your son because he looks up to the pair of you as his parents, who quite frankly are very late. You lot need to just seriously wake up and smell the roses. He's screaming out for some boundaries. He doesn't have any right now. Yeah. He doesn't. We really don't probably don't really have anything set in stone. What about rules? No. Probably not. And Seth's no different. Seth gets mouthy and then starts to back chat. Or oh, stop doing that and the next minute you want to tickle him. What are you afraid of? Obviously, discipline. What do you think your kids are going to do? Stop talking to you? Seth playing up so that he can get some of your attention because he clearly sees that Sean takes it all. I do know what bothers Seth. That's why I try to do some Seth time myself, which I have a hard time doing. I have a hard time doing Everything's hard. It is. I have is. a hard time doing this. I have a time. Parenting is challenging full stop, 24 7. You don't get a day off. What do you do for a living? Police officer. A police officer. You, you serve the community to protect and to take care of them. I'm just wondering why you lack the same ability to do that in your own home. I, I guess when I'm at work, it can be a little more stressful. I try to keep the stress out of the house. I don't like bringing my work home. Everything that we've spoke about with regards to the way Seth behaves and the way Sean behaves is because of your passive behavior. It's like I feel like I want to wind you both up round the back. You're raising two boys here. They need interaction, love, support, guidance, communication. They're not getting that. Your kids are going to end up very messed up in the head. Seriously, if you both continue to behave this way with them. So I want to see a pulse on this family for the want of a better word, Suzanne. Because right now it's flatlining. The hardest thing for me to hear is Joe doesn't see any energy in our house. And I'm ready for a change. I'm ready for things to get better. I'm talking about big change here. Because trust me, I'm not coming to this table telling you that it's not going to be hard work, because it is. OK. I need to be more assertive right away. I want to, you know, fix this whole situation. Heart's open, mind's open. Let's get to work. OK. Sounds good. All right. It's been such a long time since I've seen parents with such lack of energy. And this time it isn't the boys. The problem is mum and dad. So I've decided I'm going to try a different approach this time. But first, I'm laying down the rules. This is what we have for the family, house rules. Listen and do as you are told. Once she read off the first one, I was like, this ain't happening. No hitting and biting each other. Who bites in the house? I do. Yes, you do. Thank you for your honesty. As soon as Sean saw it, he immediately started to 
relate them to himself, and that really impressed me. No cussing or name calling. Unacceptable. And last but not least, play nicely. That's food for thought, right? What happens if you don't do the house rules? Like, you break them? There'll be consequences. Right, this direction. So now that I laid down the rules, it was time for me to put my plan into action. What are the kids going to do now, Dad? These parents have got so used to doing nothing all day that Mum and Dad don't even know what to do with the kids all day. It's kind of hard, isn't it? A pair of you twiddle your thumbs not really knowing what to do with the kids. It was time that Shane and Suzanne find their imagination and do something with these boys. They just need a good kickstart. Sean and I and Seth are going to leave you and Shane to improvise. You're going to look at these items in this trailer here. So when we come back in, us three are going to watch a play. <laughs> Bye, Mum and Dad. Let's go, boys. Can we, Jojo? <laughs> Mum and Dad were taken back at first, but they do need to show the boys that they can lighten up and be a bit silly for a change. The younger children are going to go out to play and we're going to leave the older kids in the house to play. Bye. Why don't you sing her? La, 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 la. <laughs> Jojo's left them in the house there, and we're going to see exactly if they can be big kids. La, 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 la! Joel made Mom and Dad act silly, and they never do that. All right, tag, you're it. <laughs> <laughs> Mom and Dad were definitely making the effort, though. They were running around the house, putting on a show, and the boys were loving it. <laughs> to me, the best part was watching the kids just laugh at us because we were making fools of ourselves. <laughs> but you see how they're having fun there and they're laughing? This is what we want them to do with the pair of you. Should we go in and see what they've got ready for us? Sure. OK. Great, so we're ready to watch. <laughs> <laughs> it was really, really good to see Mom and Dad having fun. do de do de do <laughs> Hey, baby. Finally, <laughs> there was some life in the house, and the laughter was contagious. I came here to look at drums, scary man. <laughs> I have never laughed that much before. Can you show me how the drum plays? My mom and dad are funny. And that's the oh. end. <laughs> Is that good? Was that fun? Was that the end? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I tell you what was so funny, just absolutely watching these kids laugh. When you guys really put the effort into it, you can just really step outside yourselves and have some fun. But I've got to be honest with you, I wouldn't say that Suzanne and Shane change careers and become stand-up comedians, oh. but the kids had a blast and that's what matters. Go! <laughs> Suzanne has a really hard time dealing with Sean during the day, and I believe his behaviour can be chalked up to boredom. He's four years old, he's cooped up in the house, and he gets no social stimulation from children his own age. Are you ready for your friends? Yes, and we're going to play nice, and we're going to have lots of fun sharing today. I saw exactly how antisocial Sean is at school, so I'm having Suzanne set up a play date for him, and it will take a little pressure off of her to keep him entertained. Time for your friends. Give me five. Sean really never played well with other children, so I never really pushed the issue as far as getting a play date because I didn't want to have parents bring the children over and then have Sean not play well. Let's go get your friends. Hi, everybody. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in, take your coats off. He shook their hands and welcomed them, and to me, that was just great to watch because it, he sparkled. Sean. Show all your friends your little trains. And right away, Sean started playing by himself. And it was a great opportunity for me to teach Suzanne how to teach Sean how to behave when other kids come to the house. All the rest of the kids are playing on that one table. He's taken the motorcycle and gone off on his own. Joel said, before you take the toy away, have one of his friends offer him a toy and then direct him more to the table. You guys want to give Sean a train to play with? Somebody pick a train. How about mommy will take this away and you can play trains with your Don't friends? Don't even mention it. Don't even mention it. Just do. After encouraging Sean how to play with the boys, he finally caught on. I shared a trailer. It was fun. Good job sharing. 
he was playing with the trains and then he went over to Gregory and he said, I have cookies. I made some cookies. Feel <laughs> fun. To me, to see how proud he was that he made cookies and he brought them on a the plate and he offered them, it was great to watch. And one for Shawnee. Sean was so ready. He was so ready to be shown how to engage with children, how to play. And the play date became that next step. See the blue line? It's missing the blue line. Marvellous to see how he's come on in like 30 minutes. I've never seen him talk this much to little, little ones before. I can't wait for no play date. Thank you for coming. Bye, Bye Sean. Sean made it through the play date without cussing, having a meltdown, or controlling everything. To see that part of him is just great for me because I'm not used to seeing that part of it. Yeah. Bye. Seeing how much Sean enjoyed himself with his friends, I hope this will teach Suzanne how important it is to have variety into his day and to do it more. So proud of you. We had fun! Fun. Shane works a lot, but when he's home, he's completely emotionally absent with the boys. There's an imagination box here. It's now the Haynes Detective Agency. I want to get Shane more revved up so that he starts thinking outside the box and recognising what he needs to do to start becoming connected again with the boys. So I'm setting up a mystery where the boys will be detectives. So you might want to lead them to example, that tree over there. To the white pole. Lovely. Now we're talking. It was definitely fun planting the clues. Ready? I'm ready. Let's go and get the boys. All right, here's your badges. Your detective ID, we got to have a thumbprint on it, though. On went the fingerprints, the ID, the walkie-talkies. The flashlights, and all three detectives went into the woods. Ten steps forward. Stop and turn around and reach for the sky. We have to find clues. Have we found the first clue? I repeat, have we found the first clue? We have found a clue. Let's go to the tree stump. Run, detectives! We're now heading for our next clue. It's so important that Shane show those boys some enthusiasm so they can get really into it. We gotta save the passengers. And guess what? He really got into that mystery and enjoyed it. It was fantastic. Me and the boys just running through the woods, playing detective. We're in row. You copy? Copy. I mean, I found myself constantly on that walkie-talkie. Okay, 10-4, 10-4, copy. Do I have our flashlights on? I repeat. We need to look for the tire. The direct information from the office. Look for the red cross. You did it, Detective Sean. Good job. The train was in the weeps. Mission complete. <laughs> I hope that we play in the woods more often. You did good. We have found it. <laughs> for these boys, anything would have been fantastic for them because they were spending time with their dad. Every moment I have with my boys is a, it's a precious moment, you know? It's definitely special. Is that fun? Let's go. Well, I'm going, but I'm only going for a short while. I'll be back soon. I know, but we, we'll miss you, so. <laughs> when Joe leaves, I feel like I'm gonna have to come up with all the games, and me and my wife, we'll figure it out, though, but it should be exciting. Give me a big hug. Wow. See what, oh, look at you, you didn't even have to ask for that one. I think JoJo's pretty. Give me a high five and a big cuddle. I really hope that we keep having fun as a family when Joe leaves. Yeah. See you when I get back. Thank uh, you. Fingers crossed, whilst I'm away, Suzanne and Shane are going to keep up their creativity and use their imagination. But I'm not going to hold my breath. Hey, time for supper now. Oh. I've been away for a few days, so now it's going to be interesting to see if Suzanne and Shane have kept up their energy or whether they've gone back to their tedious old ways. Are we ready to take a look? I think so. DVD footage. I think so. The first one is the boys playing. Let me get your shoe on and you can run. No! Sean! Hey, don't push my What'd you say? Sean. 
Christmas. Oh, that's sorry. I didn't do it on purpose. That's okay. It's just an accident. Oh, that's a bad word, Sean. Oh, sorry, Seth. Tell your mama. No. <gasps> Did you say a bad word, though? Yeah. Yeah? But just accident. You know, it was an accident? Yeah. All right, you don't say that no more, OK? It's just an accident. OK, but this is your warning. Don't say it no more, OK? OK. All right. You can go out there and play. That was handled very, very well, Shane. Thank you. Very well. You addressed it straight away. You allowed Sean to be able to say, look, it was an accident. He recognised he made a big boo-boo. You gave him a warning about it. Dealt with beautifully. Car ride is the next thing that we're going to look at. This car ride, it was actually better than most car rides have been, okay. so. Ow! Mom, say hit, hit, hit me. I think you both need to settle down. No, he's snammy. Seth, I heard that. Oh! Don't pull me! Seth, are you pulling him? No. Seth is not pulling you. Yeah, he is. Ow! That was hard. That was not an accident. That was on purpose. Ow! Stop hitting back there. Don't go to your throat. No hitting, no button. We're not hitting you. We take off some time from your video time I never today. even got a warning. OK, this will be your warning. OK? Really? So now you can see, because you're not driving, what are you seeing? Oh, it's Seth antagonizing Sean. We get Sean telling you that Seth has hurt him. You ask Seth, Seth says no. Well, I guess my thing was, I was driving, I didn't want to pull the car over and stop and turn around and try stop to see. Stop right there. And that's why it happens. So, because you didn't want to, meant, really, you didn't want to deal with the kids. But you're not resolving the situation. I should have specifically gave him a warning first. He's 10, he's doing something wrong. You can skip the warning part. Seth is being smart with you negotiating. Oh, you never gave me a warning. Not time to get cocky and smart-mouthed because he sees your mistakes before you see him. He knows he can get away with blue murder when it comes to messing on his brother. What have you generally thought about what you've seen here? You've definitely come in and showed us how to get through to Sean in a way that we've never been able to do. You know, obviously, I need to work on some of my disciplining measures with Seth. Exactly. And what I've heard here from the pair of you today is a realistic account of what you need to do to move forward, which is very positive. So today, what we are going to do is move everything on to the next level. We're going to work on the pieces that still need working on. OK. All right, so we're ready for some more, are we? We're ready. We're ready. OK, good. Seth is old enough to morally know that he shouldn't be lying to Mum, so I needed to call him out on it. And using the DVD was a perfect way to show him he'd been caught in the act. We're going to look at something here. All right. And then we're going to figure out ways that we could work to improve this, OK? I could tell by when I was looking at him that he was a little bit shocked that he would have been caught. Ow! Stop it! I watched Seth's face in the beginning and he went slightly red and I could see him kind of go into himself. Remember that? When I watched myself on the DVD, I, I saw how much I picked on Sean. Ow! What did you see wrong with that? I hit him. When I had asked you and you said no, so that was wrong. When mom said to you that you were going to get time off your video games and you said I didn't get a warning? Yeah. Well, because you're older, you're 10, I think that you should understand right from wrong, so you really shouldn't have to get warnings. Well, this was a big step for Suzanne because it was the first time that she had set out any real expectations for Seth. For the future, I want you to know that dad and I are going to keep a watch because we're not going to just I think that Sean's not telling us the truth. After watching myself, I realized I had to make a good example for Sean. Okay. Now 
Now that Seth knows what's expected of him, I wanted to give him a special memory that he'll never forget. Morning, Seth. Morning. Up until now, Shane and Seth have never really had a chance to spend time together doing father and son stuff, like playing catch. So I wanted to change that big time. Where are we going? going? I have no idea. No, Seth? Uh-uh. You mean you don't know where we're going? No. You didn't bring a map? I was so excited when I got in the car with my dad and Joe, because I had no idea where I was going. And I know it was a surprise. And the anticipation builds up in the back seats. Where could they possibly be being taken? What better place than Lambeau Field, the mecca of football and home to the Green Bay Packers? What better place to give them a magical memory and to inspire them to spend more time together? It was unspeakable. It was, it was amazing. Guys! Woo! <laughs> nice catch. Well, it was great seeing the expression on his face. I mean, I could tell he's just, just full of joy. Just, he was just loving this. He was in heaven. Blue, 29, set, go! Ah! No! This is going to be, without a doubt, a beautiful memory for the pair of them and a really good, solid foundation for them to build on. Oh, man, I don't know if I can get you this far. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to be at a famous football stadium to spend special time with your kids, but it is all about spending time with them and making sure that you do something extra special which will undoubtedly be something that your kids will never forget. Dad, do the bowling pin. <laughs> There's not a dad in the world that wouldn't want to do this with their son. This is just awesome. Uh, I want to do stuff like this with my dad all the time. When we got back from Lambeau Field, it started to snow. And whilst Mum was outside playing with the boys, I had one more thing for Shane to do. Because even though he just had a great time with Seth, there was still a little somebody who needed extra special time too. There's not been much time for you and Sean. Her kids love music, so why not put the drum practice into play Bring Sean in and have some fun with him. Let him mess around with the drums and stuff. Sean's four years old and he can't always do the things that his older brother likes to do. However, I found out that Dad plays the drums. So I thought it'd be a perfect idea to get Dad playing alongside Sean. Hey! So, you may want to sit on your lap and do it. Whichever you prefer. OK, superstar! All right, here we go. It was a great time for me and Sean just to uh, be playing the drums, just to see him try and do the same techniques as I was, just a matter of seconds, you know, it was, it was pretty cool. Up here. There you go. Just for Sean being able to spend time with his dad and mess around with a drum kit, it's kind of cool for Sean. And he has come along in leaps and bounds because his mum and dad are just presenting these opportunities for him all the time to explore. Tommy playing on drums, that was fun. Thank you, good night. Thank you, good night. <laughs> <laughs> Suzanne and Shane, listen guys, I'm gonna go because you've got supper time soon. We are definitely a stronger family because of Joel. It was a great experience, I'll never forget it. I really do believe that you guys are moving in the right direction, which is very positive. I wanted to enjoy the boys and I wanted to enjoy my family and Joe coming here has made that happen for me. I was glad that Joe was able to come out and fix us. Seth, take care of yourself. I'm so thankful that Joe came and took the time to help our family. I'm probably going to miss most of the English accent. 
Take care, Shane. All right, thank you very much. You're welcome. The impact that Joe has had on our family has been more than words can say. She definitely tops in my book. Say goodbye, Jojo. Goodbye, Jojo. Bye-bye, bye. darling. Bye. 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 Thank you yes. so much. Oh. oh, that's a perfect goodbye. I love you, Jojo. Have a safe journey. You have a safe journey. You take care. Bye-bye. Bye, Jojo. It was nice meeting you. Thank you for everything. <laughs> Everything's turned around in this house. Bye-bye, sweetie. Bye. I'm glad at how far the Haynes family have come. You sad? I'm sad, too. It's great because Suzanne and Shane have learnt to live a little, so now things are going to be more exciting in their family. I definitely think there's more energy in the house. <laughs> I think Shane is starting to see how much fun he can actually have with the boys. I just enjoy watching them smile. My relationship with Seth is better because of the short time we do have together, you know, we're making it quality time. Go, Shawnee! Go, Shawnee! Go, Shawnee! <laughs> I've seen Sean change 180 degrees. Completely, completely changed. Once upon a time, there was a skeleton. Oh. He lived in the woods. Ah. No! <laughs> and then, out and there. there! I think both boys are seeing a different side of me. A better side, I think. Oh. Oh. Here, Charlie. Don't be afraid. Go ahead. OK. I see us doing a lot more together as family and, and getting out and doing a lot more than we did before. Are you guys ready to light some fireworks? Yeah! yeah. What I've learned most is, you know, if I change a little, they'll change. If my change is positive, their change is positive. Definitely can see that. Mom and Dad are a lot more fun. They, they're more creative and they do more things. Suzanne can discipline the boys on her own now. Just seeing her take over is great. Woohoo! Oh, I'm definitely the parent I want to be. The most important thing in the world to me is my family. One big happy family.